Hello and welcome to this exciting video in which we are going to be learning about how we can create your own AI agents with the help of a platform that is going to be providing us with all the tools and required things that we are going to be needing to create an AI agent that will be performing different operations as well as it will be having the functionality of different uh, APIs like Anthropic Cloud, OpenAI's GPD models will be also providing us with the support for Google's Gemini models. And we can use all of these things at one single place and you don't need to worry about uh, different uh, technologies that are required to create an AI agent like RAG, Vector Databases and all. The entire things will be available on this platform that is Liza Agent Studio. With the help of Liza Agent Studio, we can create safe and reliable AI agents that are uh, responsible as well as it will be providing with uh, the appropriate output based on a given input with the help of Liza Agent Studio. So without further ado, let's get started with it. So to get started with Liza Studio, you need to click on the first link below to get started with a account that will be providing you free credits as well. So you don't need to pay anything upfront. And if you like this, you can uh, switch to the paid plans as well. And on the home page, you can see design, build and deploy AI agent effortlessly. So to get started, uh, you will be getting the first link below. After clicking on the first link, you will be greeted with this particular page that you see over here Welcome, and, and your username will be available over here and you can easily get started and there are some videos that are available over here to get started creating your first ever AI agent and you can see community agents are also available so you can also explore some of the agents that have been created by some other users so this is available in the Liza app studio where you can try out uh, what people have built out there and you can just explore them so if you want you can just explore these different uh, ai agents that are created by people out there so for now uh, what we will do is we will just click on agents so we're going to be trying to create our first agent over here so i will just click on create new agent and here you will be able to uh, provide a name to your agent so you just need to provide any name over here so i want it to create a youtube short script right there. now over here you can see that i have uh, created this uh, youtube short script writer and here i will be providing some description about this so i want to create an ai agent that will be generating uh youtube short scripts uh, for any topic out there so here i will be providing it with a description as well now we can find out uh, different llm providers that are available on liza studio so you can either use open ai's or apis or models we can also use anthropics models like uh, sonnet and haiku and apart from that we also have google's model like gemini and all so if i just select this open ai you will be able to see that we have options to get the uh, photo and photo mini and apart from this we have anthropic models like sonnet and haiku then in uh, google we have gemini models gemini 2.0 uh, flash and and 1.5 flash and 1.5 pro so you can use any of the models that you like and in our use case that is going to be youtube short script writer i'll be using anthropic and i'll be selecting the sonnet model which is the latest one and you can just uh, set up the temperature and uh, top view over here so the temperature will be i think 0 0.7 is good so i will keep it to the default one now here I need to provide the instruction for the AI agent and the role that it is going to be performing. So, do R and YouTube short script writer back helps creating short scripts for YouTube videos. Now, I have added uh, the entire the prompt over here and agent rule and I can also include that I want the scripts to be the scripts should be around 45 to 50 seconds with a wider book 
now this is a basic prompt that i have added over here and um, I, if i click on improve now what you will see is it will be trying to improve this uh, particular prompt and adding the instruction automatically in the agent instruction so you don't need to write a lot of uh, things over here because this improve prompt button will be doing a lot of things for us and you can see that this particular prompt is using different uh, prompt engineering techniques and the entire thing is being created properly and your task is to craft a script for, of 40 to 45 second long for youtube shorts and so on the entire instruction is created by ai itself so you don't need to provide a lot of uh, details over here you just need to add the agent rule and you can click on the improve button it will be adding the things over here so after adding this what we can do is we can even configure it with the other tools so if i just click on this so it will be redirecting us to the tools page here so you will be able to see that what all tools we can connect with so we can connect with github slack discord clickup spotify twitter notion then we have gmail youtube and other options are also available over here like calendly and uh, perplexity ai so what we can do is for now let's say i want to connect uh, and get the data into my notion templates so what i can do is i can just click on connect with notion and sure i need to just sign in with my notion account and it will be connecting that with my liza studio so that i will be able to fetch the details or the entire what you can say is uh, the script and add it into a notion template so let me just try to log in into my account and i will get back to you so now after connecting and authenticating my notion you can see that it has been added over here so the notion was successfully added over here next step would be going back over here and trying to refresh this now you'll be able to see that i'll be able to configure notion over here and how would you like to use this tool so i just need to add a text over here add the scripts in the notion so uh, i'll be just adding this thing over here so it will be transferring the data whatever scripts has been created and adding it into my notion and i'll be easily able to use that so if you want you can configure even more tools that are available over here you can even integrate it with slack so whenever a prompt is given to the ai agent it will be sending you the script on your slack or discord channel so that is also possible but for now in this use case i have just uh, set it up to get the scripts in my notion so you can also add a output example that you want over here so if you have any output example that you would like to get so you can just add it over here now the next thing will be you'll be able to add knowledge base to it so if you have any uh, different knowledge base that is available for uh, with you that has uh, some viral hooks or viral uh, data that you can feed in here so you can just add it using this so what i can do is yt and i will be just creating the knowledge base name yt shorts and i'll be adding youtube's script short script writer and here i'll be just selecting the vector store and i'll be using this particular one that is available apart from this we can use this llm embedding model that are available over here so you can use text embedding three small then text embedding three large and we have the other one as well that is ada so what i will do is i will just use the small one for now So I have created this particular knowledge base. Inside this, I can upload different documents in here. So let's say I have a document uh, using which I will be using it to get exactly similar output. I can just upload that over here. Or you can also add a raw text in here as well. So what you can do is you can just provide any file. You can drag and drop a file or you can select a file which is in the form of .pdf, .docs or text. So you can add any of the files over here or you can also provide an URL in here that will be used to get the information about uh, the knowledge base so you can just use this so uh, right now i have a document i'll be uploading that over here in the knowledge base next what we can do is over here after coming to this we'll be able to find the knowledge base that we have created that is a yt knowledge base i'll be just uh, saving that and you can also configure short term memory so retains contextual memory for at least uh, 10 interference so it will be uh, having the short term memory for 10 inference that we're going to be calling this particular ai agent with you can also integrate uh, long term memory that will be having a uh, more context to the 
chat so it will be storing the data for a longer period so you can just select that if you want to get humanized responses in the output you can just select the humanizer option that is available over here so then we have responsible ai if you want to do reflections that will be allowing on its responses and improve its accuracy so you can also add a reflections that will be allowed over here and groundness there is another option that is coming soon and context relevance that is also coming soon so these options will be available in like i think uh, one or two weeks so you'll be able to use them as well so that's another feature that will be coming up next then you'll be able to see safe ai then you can add fairness and biases then you can tweak uh, some other things as well but for now uh, you will be good to go by using these different settings that we have done over here if i just click on create it will be creating the ai agent for us and we'll be able to uh, use this easily now you'll be able to see that uh, here we will be able to give a prompt and it will be trying to fetch the data and give us the output let's say we want to get a script for generative yeah now this is going to be my topic i want a script on this specific topic in the output so now what it will do is it will try to generate the script on this specific topic and it will be returning the script in the output so let's wait for it to process the data you'll be also seeing the latency that uh, this particular model will give us the output in so it might take few seconds to get the output now you can see this is the output and you can see this is the entire script that it has generated for us so you can see the script is uh, quite uh, amazing that it has uh, generated in few seconds and we have just provided a few prompts over here and there and it has generated the entire script for us so i think after deploying this agent it will be able to write the data into notion as well uh, right now it's not able to add the uh, data into notion but you can see that uh, the ai agent has been created successfully we can write any topic and it will be trying to create an uh, script youtube a short script using this so let me give you it another topic a g i now, if I just uh, hit enter, it will be trying to create a script on EGI technology and uh, generative AI. So EGI is nothing but artificial general intelligence. Let's see what script it is going to be creating. And this uh, particular script, you can see that in just a few years, generative AI has exploded onto the scene. Imagine this, chat GPT crafting novels, AI are generating painting masterpieces and so on. So you can just read out the entire script and it has created a really great hook as well and it has created the entire script. Here you can see the new script that it has generated and it has a viral hook as well that is available over here and you can see this is another uh, thing. So concise and entertaining narration and there is a strong and memorable closing that it has generated using this particular ai agent that we have created in under i think 10 15 minutes and we have uh, uh, actually a working ai agent that we can deploy so i think everything is working fine with our ai agent what we can do is now to deploy this agent we don't need to have any hosting domain and all that things the lyser studio will be taking care of everything we just need to click on launch as app and you will be able to yes i am ready you just need to click this and you can just provide the details over here so the name of the app will be youtube short script writer then we'll be adding it into technology i think technology will be best we'll go short script writer and we can make it public as well if you want you can make it private or public and we'll be adding this details and we'll be clicking on launch app now our app will be successfully launched in the marketplace of uh, app store that is available in the Liza studio and you can see this is the page of that if i just go over here we'll be able to use this particular ai agent that we have created right now and you can also test out this particular ai agent by going to this particular uh, link so I'll be also providing the link to my uh, AI agent that we have created in this video. So similarly, you can create as many different uh, AI agents as you want using Liza Studio. So I think that was it for this particular lesson on exploring and how to create an AI agent using Liza AI Studio.
So I hope you were successfully able to create uh, your first ever AI agent using Lizer AI Studio. And hopefully it was a really easy process for you to create this particular AI agent end to end. And you'll be able to explore a lot of things on Lizer Agent Studio. And you'll be able to create a lot of different AI agents that will be performing a lot of tasks on your behalf. So I think that was it for this particular video. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.